Hey guys, alright? Welcome to another video from the InfoJHNet channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of interference in cameras. I'm going to go through a few methods here to troubleshoot this problem. As we can see here in the image, I'm with a camera that's giving a lot of interference. So this camera here is on the UTP cable system with balloons. This interference can be caused either because of the power connector, right? Because it's only one of the cameras that has this interference. And also by the power balloon connector itself and also the cable. So if the cable is running along with some electrical wire, whatever, it may be that this induction occurs. But I'm going to show you a couple of ways here that we can remove that induction. It's a really cool tip that we're going to use a capacitor. Let's reuse a capacitor that can be taken from any electronic equipment. To remove those noises, those interferences that you pick up on the camera, check out the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and leave any interaction in the comments section so we can talk. So beauty guys, there are two types of CRTV installation. In fact, there is one more common type that we can mention here. It's the video balloon system, right? Which is with this piece here, with this guy here. And also with the BNC connector, which in this case is used in coaxial cables. This one is used in coaxial cable with the BNC connector. This one is the Born type connector. And there is also the MOLA connector. And this one right here in this case is the video balloon connector. Then you will use one pair of the network cable, the UTP cable, to make the connection. So the first thing if you feel like you have interference is to change the balloon. Do the test, change the balloon that goes on the camera and also change the balloon that goes on the DVR. Same thing with the BNC connector. Replace it and see if it resolves. If changing doesn't solve it by any chance, if the interference continues, try changing the source to see if that will solve it. If that doesn't solve it, let's say there's a spot where the cable is running along with the electrical. Sometimes we advise against doing this, but if it is, let's assume that it's causing interference for that reason. What can you do? Use a capacitor. I have an example here of a 10 volt, 1000 watt capacitor. And how are you going to connect that capacitor? You're going to do it this way you're going to take the negative side here. In this case, I'll be giving the example as if it were on the coaxial cable. So I'm going to disconnect the negative here. I've disconnected the negative, the shielding in this case, and I'm going to solder the positive side of the capacitor here. This side here. I'm going to solder here on the shielding like so. and I'm going to place the capacitor leg here on the connector. So it's going to look like this, like so. And I've done a lot of that here, it works. It removes induction that couldn't even be removed with a prayer. With the capacitor, we'll be able to remove it, but it has to be tried here in the capacitor position. So, the positive side always comes on the mesh, and then the negative side goes here on the connector. So, I'll do the test. If it worked, please put it in the comments. And I'll stop here. Quick tip, if you liked this video, if it worked, subscribe to the channel. Leave your like on the video and also leave it in the comments. If it didn't work, for me, whenever I've done it here, it worked. It worked pretty cool, okay? Strong hug and see you later. Bye.